I'm going to get busted for copyright for this, so I'll just put the volume down and uh, just let you uh, see some of the footage. I'll probably still get busted for copyright as well. Anyway, talking about, there was a program which I watched last night which was slightly heartbreaking. Um, it was called Meet the Family, meat as in animal meat. Um, and effectively these families take in some animals effectively as pets. Uh, one member of the family maybe goes out and investigates the reality of the other types of farming of the animals which they normally eat. And uh, and then at the end of the experience, uh, they either have to decide to keep the animals as a pet or send it off to be slaughtered and have it as food. And uh, I watched the first one last night and it was heartbreaking. So it was this family here that I saw and uh, I think the dad goes over... Th there's also some shocking statistics. Uh, they're saying in the UK two and a half million chickens, so we're only talking chickens here, are killed every day. Wow. But, this, but then the more bizarre thing was is that he then goes on a trip to uh, uh, Holland, uh, where they have the most intensive chicken farming practices that there are. And he sees them all in a big uh, warehouse uh, being industrially farmed. And then another statistic came up saying 60% of the chickens that we eat in the UK are from overseas. Hold on, let me do some maths. So we've got 2.5 million killed every day, times that by 365, we're talking 912 million. But if 60% of the chickens we eat in the UK are imported, that means that is only 40%. So if we divide that by 40, then times that by 100, uh, 2.2 Two billion? That can't be right. That's a lot. That's that's a lot of chickens a year. Two point two billion in the UK. <laughs> really? I I think I've got my maths wrong somewhere there, but that's quite shocking. Anyway, um, so this family bring in some chickens. They have a little chicken coop. They get a attached to it. And uh, and the dad goes and sees the industrial farming of it in Holland and uh, is like, oh, this is terrible. And then they kind of go on the, oh, yeah, we should go to ethical farms where the chickens uh, can, A, live longer. Uh, I think they went and found 81-day chickens instead of the normal 40-day chickens or whatever it is. And they talked about how the quicker-growing chickens have a worse life because they get so big so quick that their bones can't actually hold up their body and they can barely walk and it's bad for them so they go oh yeah the 81 day chicken that's better uh, as if that's better and uh, and then at the end they're making this heartbreaking decision uh, for them like the daughter is or certainly one of the daughters is very visibly emotionally distraught about this because they've developed a relationship um, with the, the chickens, they, they see them as, as animals rather than just food. And, uh, but in the end, they go, I just don't think I can give up chicken. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> and then the mum is like crying her eyes out going, we've literally just sent our chickens away. And we're gonna like have them killed. <laughs> They're like, oh. They don't see the slaughtering process. They gave them some fluff line of saying, Oh, it's going to be taken off to a high welfare farm where they'll be looked after until they're ready for slaughter. Um, and it had some emotional music over it and all that stuff. And then, like, some weeks later, cameramans, are, the camera people are back in their house and comes along the dad with a box and is like, here's the chickens. And everyone's like, ah! <laughs> One of the daughters is crying. The mom's just like, I really don't want to eat this, but I'm still eating. It was so... It was bizarre, and it was such a shame because, for me, it missed one vital person in the in the show of just somebody saying, "Do you know what? You don't need to eat chicken." It was almost like they've just got it ingrained in their head, going, "I can't live without chicken. I need to eat chicken." But they're my friends. Oh no, I've got to eat chicken. How will I survive with it? Like they never said these things, but 
You can tell somewhere in their head they're like, I just don't know. I can't, how, can, how can I live without eating chicken? Oh, oh, oh. And that, but if they just had somebody, some Joey Carbstrong or some uh, Ed Winters um, being able to go along and say, there's alternatives. <laughs> you can have fake chicken. You can have other stuff. You can have jackfruit or something like that. There's, you don't need to eat chicken. Don't worry, people. You've got attached to these animals. If you don't want to look after them, that's fine. But do you know what? You don't actually have to cook them. You don't have to kill them either. It's just, it, it missed one kind of person to support the animals and just offer the alternative. It really seemed like we can never eat chicken again. Oh, or we send our pets off to be slaughtered. And the, the dichotomy in their head was just, that's it. And it's, it was almost like, if we don't eat chicken, what are we going to eat? <laughs> it was like that, oh my god, almost like fear factor of like, if we don't eat chicken, are we going to survive? And it was just, it was just heartbreaking. And I haven't got to the next one. The next one is, uh, I think it must be on the next episode, but yeah, family brought in some pigs. And the pigs are like doing tricks and like there's the pigs are smarter than the dog. And the, the dad then starts reading all like bacon in, ingredients. He's like, holy crap, bacon's got all this terrible stuff in you and I feed my kids bacon sandwiches every day. And one thing which I just found, I, uh, maybe I'll uh, can I put this sound on? I'll try it here, see if it says it. Of their animal's journey from field to fork. Is when they say life-changing decisions to whether to eat their pets. But after three weeks of expert guidance, yeah. they are a lot cleverer than most people think. They face a difficult decision: give up meat and send the animals to a sanctuary, or continue their carnivorous ways and send them back into the food chain. Oh, yeah. It is interesting, just showing how disconnected people are in a life-changing experience. So that's when I said, it's a life-changing experience. I wish there was also somebody that just kind of went, it doesn't really need to be life-changing. Yeah, yeah. Certainly with the family that are eating, uh, uh, that's the chicken farms in uh, Holland or wherever it was. That, was. that was pretty mental. But the family which uh, have got their baby sheep, where is it? They've got cows. You can see people like you see people getting visibly emotional about it. You really wish there's somebody kind of that came along and said, "Do you know what? It's not life changing. If if you've got attached to these pigs and your choice is never eat pigs again or ham or bacon again or send these animals off for slaughter and causing you potentially emotional emotional distress, do you know what? It's not life changing." You just stop eating bacon. And if you really like it, there are alternatives. There are fake alternatives. The vegan movement is really pushing to make uh, plant-based meat alternatives. So you can kind of still get that same taste, maybe that same flavour, but without the worry of going, I've just had to go get these animals killed for this. It, it, was, it was a very interesting documentary. and It was a little bit heartbreaking, uh, certainly for the younger members of the family, when they're like, Oh, buy pets <laughs> off to be eaten, and it was just like, oh, it's so terrible. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> You're just like, wow, brainwashed. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just, I think uh, I wish. And if what I also fear is that for some of the younger members of the families in this that have sent their animals off to be slaughtered, when they grow up a little bit more and do a bit more of their own research and then decide to be vegan or adopt a vegan or plant-based diet, the guilt that they will have in themselves afterwards of going, I had that opportunity to not carry on involving myself in the unnecessary breeding and slaughter of these innocent animals, which I can easily get attached to, but I didn't. I think there'll be quite a lot of like, people in the future kind of going, why didn't I just give up chicken? It's so easy. There's so many alternatives. It's not that difficult. They just needed somebody to tell them it's not difficult. Mm. Anyway, uh, tell me if you've watched it and uh, definitely try and watch it. Wednesdays, 9pm um, on Channel 4. Uh, there you go.